what a liberating program. Congratulations. I think all of them, Teto. Um, this is the first person who's mentioned that they did the McKinsey program, program. so there's like foundation phase and then advance. Um, yeah. One of the certificates. I'm getting ready we are going to Scenton. I want to get a new fragrance not a body fragrance don't remember the last time I got a new home fragrance so I'm gonna go and see if I can find the Oudnobile let's use this one today I used this one this one is from Zara home um, this is the one I used today uh, it's called light cotton um, and I'm sure they still have this because I think it's just their um, their normal collection um but the one i want i'm not sure actually i'm not sure if i'm gonna get a diffuser or a spray a room spray but i know that i want to get the Oudnobile the Oudnobile scent because i really love it and yeah so we're gonna go and this is my outfit very basic this is my outfit just wearing these pants from mango guys this has been my uniform for a very long time um but yeah it's just a very basic outfit these pants from mango the basic t-shirt from zara and i'm wearing these these sandals these are also from zara and my cap is from witchery and yeah that is my outfit for today i'm taking my everyday bag this bag i'm taking this bag this bag is from mango so yeah we're gonna go i will see you guys when we get there i'll try to vlog maybe on my phone I'm vlogging on my phone so the sound is gonna be different but shoot sure, this place is very big but I'm looking for hydrangeas oh this is nice I really love this these ones yo I'm sure this thing is very heavy <sighs> but I am looking for white hydrangeas Okay, I see the pink one. Oh, these are the ones I'm looking for. That did you prune it down? Then it starts shooting from over. You'll see. So when do we do that, July? Yeah, we normally do it on the end of July. The time when we prune the roses. We also cut them down in, the, in October, then we have them back. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Before I do that, I wanna show you guys the hydrangeas. Kinda. 
My boyfriend is cooking today. No, I'm not. Anyway, let me show you guys. Um, let me show you the hydrangeas. Uh, Jerry is coming on Wednesday, so he's gonna plant all of this on Wednesday, guys. I'm so excited. So we got two different. I showed you guys these um yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we got these yesterday. The 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 lemon tree and the the lime tree. We got this yesterday at a different nursery, and then we went to the nursery in Park Town. I'm gonna leave the details here if anyone is interested. And um, yeah, so these are my new hydrangeas, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so happy. So we got two different uh, two different types. This I don't know what this one is called, but I remember the name of this one because no i remember the name of this one because oh actually it does have um it does have tags this one is called i remember there is one there's one called annabelle this one is the hydrangea annabelle and then we also got this guy recommended that we get this for um for the hydrangeas so this we are going to be using it once a month but yeah these are my hydrangeas i am so excited guys i'm really really excited we're gonna be getting more like um maybe once a month we'll go back and get more uh because they are quite expensive i think one one bucket was 190 something or 170 something i don't remember but yeah they are quite expensive uh so we cannot buy um like a lot so we'll just go back maybe after a month and like get more let me quickly show you guys what i got from mango i only got like two things so it's not gonna be an interesting haul this is gonna be a very short haul because I only got two things. I'm gonna start with what we got at Skins. Oh, it smells so beautiful. I don't know what they sprayed here, but it smells really nice. You guys, do I have my small collection that I'm building, and I wanted to add something different because I haven't. I don't remember the last time I got a new diffuser. So another diffuser, um, like a new room spray i wasn't sure if i wanted to get a room spray or a diffuser but i decided to get a diffuser i mean i decided to get a room spray because i feel like they last longer than um than diffusers i don't know what is going on with the lighting light i'm so sorry yeah i think this is better initially we wanted to go for the um, the wood nobel decided to get the rosal nobel this one i love this color this is such a beautiful color i think the toilet set that i'm getting is almost the same as this this box the color this is honestly my favorite brand of home fragrances i wish i could buy everything like all the diffusers all the room sprays because everything smells amazing i really love this color i need to go to um builders and see if I can find something like this because it's such a gorgeous color. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to the room spray. This is how it looks like. I'm not gonna spray it here because I've already sprayed the. Um, I have this one here. I sprayed this one this morning. This one from Zara Home, and I can still smell it. It's how strong, um, like these room sprays are. Even the ones from Zara Home. Ones from Zara Home are much cheaper. But they are also really like good quality. Uh, I think this one is five, five hundred or six hundred rands. If you want to buy like an affordable room spray, because this one I think is one thousand rands. Something is wrong with this light. The bulb. This is my new baby. I'm gonna use it tomorrow. Mm, it smells. This one. I'm not really good with describing scents, guys. I'm so bad. I'm just gonna say it smells nice that's all I always say but it does have a little bit of sweetness but it's not like overwhelming mm. love it and then I went to mango and for the first time guys I always buy online uh, when I buy from mango because I just never find things that I love in store I have 
gotten things like in store but most of the time i buy uh from superbulous because obviously they have those discounts so that's the reason why i always buy from superbulous but today i went to mango and i found things that i've i've wanted to buy and they were on sale so so i thought i should get them so um, i saw these shorts these bermuda shorts i think two months ago and i did try them on they were 600 rands and at that time i think i wanted an outfit for something i don't remember what where i was going but i wanted um an outfit and i saw these shorts i really really loved them um but i ended up not buying them because they were not on sale and um yeah when i went there today i found them and they were on sale um so they were 420 and i decided to get them i love i love the shade of pink maybe i'll try them on in, and insert something like a clip here for you guys uh but i really love these i love the shade of pink it's like a bubble what do they call like a candy bubble gum pink i think it's stunning i really love it so i got these bermuda shorts and when it comes to bermuda shorts i love styling them with like simple basic t-shirts and if you wanna dress them up you can wear them with heels I, I have those beautiful pink heels that i recently got so maybe i'll try to i'll try to put together an outfit and see how it looks but recently i've been loving color so yeah and one of the colors i've been loving is pink this shade of pink and yeah i think also this will look nice with that pink shirt that i wore when I went to the H&M event, I think this will look nice. I, I just love mixing different shades of pink. I think it looks really nice. So, yeah. Those are the shorts I got. And I'm really, really happy with them. It's denim. They are called Zyda. This is called the high waist short. And it's straight. It has pocket at the back and pocket at the front. And yeah, I think this is 100% cotton because it's very rigid. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with these. These are the only shorts I like. I'm comfortable wearing. I really love like straight, not too short shorts because I don't like showing thighs. <laughs> I just don't like showing thighs. Um, but yeah, these are the shorts I got. Really happy with them. Got them in size UK 6 and yeah. Next thing I got, you guys, I'm so, so excited. Uh, I've been wanting to get these, but I wasn't willing to pay the price. Uh, I think they were 800 rands. I got these sandals, you guys. <laughs> I love them so, 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 so much and yeah i'm so happy i got them while we're still in in summer because i can wear them um you guys know i have these um i have these ones that i got from zara home i think two years ago two years ago got the um, the white ones from zara home and they also have the black ones but they were very expensive i wanted to buy two so yeah i couldn't i had to buy one pair yeah finally two years later i got the black pair from uh from mango and i love 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 them so they're very comfortable and the only difference um with these ones compared to the ones from zara home these ones they have the strap is very it's not chunky the one from zara home is a very big uh strap but these are still cute i really love them and this is the bag they just say mango here at the back and yeah i cannot wait to wear these guys i'm gonna be wearing these a lot um because these are black the ones from zara i do wear them i haven't worn them in a very long time because my issue with them is that they are white so like if you wear them every day oh so yeah these ones i'm going to be able to wear as much as i want because they are black you won't even see any stains um and yeah really really happy with this purchase and i got them for 400 rand so half price and yeah so that is basically what i got when i went to the um, to Santon city and yeah European style um, and what that means is that the cabinets in back in the day in Europe when you had an apartment or a flat 
you would have kitchen cabinetry that was just kind of affixed to the wall and when you moved, completely built in, not at all something you could take with you. I wanted this kitchen to feel like it was back in the day um, and there are sort of, there's a ton of asymmetry. This kind of stove top run where I chose to put this little sink in here. It's really hard working and you know, tons and tons of snack. I don't have empty cabinets. All my cabinets are filled um, and I'm okay with that. It is this cozy little couch area with a TV and um, one side of it. Which Today is Monday. Yesterday I was trying to show you guys this beautiful color of the, um, the box and I think now you can see it much better in this lighting because it was dark yesterday how gorgeous is this color I'm about to spray the um, the Rosa Nobel for the first time I'm really really excited it smells really amazing guys mm. it smells so divine I'm not gonna do too much because it's very this thing is very strong. I'm gonna get ready for work and I'm gonna quickly get dressed and I will I'll see you guys once I'm I'm ready. lunch now and um, I just received my order from from checkers from checkers 16 I'm going to I just needed snacks because we don't have snacks so is always sold out and this is the only flavor i love um they have like different flavors but this is my favorite one um and then my boyfriend likes these so i got these for him and he likes chocolate i'm not a huge fan of chocolate i just love uh chips i never really do grocery hauls because i just don't buy like i hate grocery shopping i'm always buying from checkers and when i buy things i don't buy like serious things that i feel like i would need to show you guys maybe what i'm gonna do i think i'm just gonna go on pinterest and try to find inspo because this is a bookshelf and a lot of people um just display books and i don't want to do that with this one so i'm trying to use it a as a like a contour not a contour like a tv stand but i didn't want to get a tv stand because, I don't know, I just don't like TV stands. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to find something on Pinterest. Let's see. Bookshelf. There go. Well, I think I am still going to, I'm still going to have like, books but i don't want it to look like a bookshelf maybe i'm gonna i'm still gonna have books but i also want to have little decorative pieces you know something like this but not exactly the same but maybe like something like this i really love this um so maybe I'm, i might do something like that even this one this one is also really nice this I want it to be very like simple and minimal because that shelf is very small and this area is also like it's a small living room this is really nice but i think um there's just a lot going on so i'm gonna just keep on browsing here once i find something that i think 
I really love then I'm gonna try to recreate that um, yeah but oh this is really nice I really love this really really love this I think I'm gonna steal some of my boyfriend encyclopedias and see if mm, no I don't think it's gonna work I was reading comments on my previous vlog someone said I I show the the ceiling or I, like I they don't really get to see like the surroundings when I'm vlogging because the, the camera is always like this I'm so sorry guys why didn't you guys tell me um, but I think it's also because I hold my camera with my hand I don't use my I don't use um, a tripod I do have the, the, the um, that small tripod but I just never use it anyway I'm gonna charge you guys and I will see you later is just um, a little jug um, I got these from the previous owners I think maybe maybe I can put it there This tray, this tray is from Zara Home. Should I put it on top of these books like that? Maybe I can use these. I'm just not sure about this tray. I just need something different. Oh, I think I can use. I think I can use my shoes. You guys remember those shoes that I got from you guys remember those shoes that I got from from Wayland's? I think I can use those shoes. I don't know where they are, but I think I'm gonna look for those and use them. Because I think that's gonna really that's gonna be really nice um, and different. This to be just under the same thing. This maybe I can put this here.
Okay guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna go and look for my, my shoes. See, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm gonna go look for those shoes and then um, I'll come back and finish decorating this. I have looked everywhere. I cannot find my, my shoes. I don't know where to look now. Maybe. I don't think it's here, but Let's just check that. This is our this is our lin uh, this is our linen closet and it's what is this? <gasps> Guys I completely forgot about these things. Um these are the things I got. Oh, I think I know. I think I know what is here. Oh my god, you guys. I remember buying this. <gasps> guys. So, in one of the vlogs, I showed you guys some things that I, I got um, in manifesting the house. This is one of them. <laughs> this is one of them. I'm not sure what this is, but I can see see this this is one of the things i i got when i was manifesting this house um this is basically um a handle it's a door handle let me try to open it <laughs> i think well i know i'm not gonna use this but but i'm definitely gonna keep this handle even though i'm not gonna use it um maybe i might use it somewhere but yeah, I just know I'm not gonna use it in the. No, I'm not gonna use it in the master, in the primary bathroom. I think. I'm not sure what this. Oh, these are the knobs. I don't remember buying these. I just remember the handle. Yo, I was so serious, Shem. Because I was serious about this house. <laughs> these are the knobs. This is so cute like for a baby a baby's room i mean a baby's uh bathroom this would be so cute i love this one day i'll have a baby and i'm gonna use these <laughs> okay oh my god this just makes me so happy <laughs> and and then in here i remember buying this yeah this is from zara home i remember buying these i got these for the shower the shower glass um and then i just got this brush yeah uh, but i still cannot find what i'm looking for i'm looking for my fake shoes um i'm in the bathroom now and i don't think they are yeah they're definitely not definitely not here check under the bed <sighs> there's nothing under the bed hi blue this is how the bookcase apparently looks i also have this i have this little vase from h&m but i don't know i don't want to use this i don't like it that much yeah it just doesn't work <clears throat> can't find them i've looked everywhere but i cannot find them so i thought i should do something else uh, we got these from the previous owners except for this one this one is mine I'm not sure if you guys still remember this, but this one is mine. I got it from the antique store in PMB. Uh, but these ones, we got these from the previous owners. I'm trying to see. Oh, this is actually the same thing. Hmm. I like this one. I think I love the frame of this one more. So 
so I want to see if I can hang this somewhere uh, in the passage somewhere yeah so I think we need to get some like a, a table here an entryway table or console table uh, but this this is small for this area <laughs> I think I'm gonna try the other ones because I do have uh, more. Maybe I can try and find something for this side because we do have hooks. We do have hooks. We asked them to leave uh, to leave them like this because um, when they moved out, because we knew that we were gonna hang something here or maybe even paint. So this is what I did. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it like this until I find my shoes. So I decided to use this LV one uh, just to add a pop of color. I think I'm just gonna insert a picture once I find the shoes because I'm not gonna like show you guys this again. But yeah, this is how it looks like. I'm not really happy with it because I think it would have looked really nice with the shoes. But yeah, there's nothing I can do. I cannot find them. So that's the best I could do. I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye guys!